Okay, so there's two things that I've done. Under here is the um, relay. What I've done is just clean the contacts, uh, and they were quite filthy. So even though this cap's there to keep it clean, uh, they do get a bit mucky, and that could be, you know, causing an intermittent uh, issue or, or not allowing the full power through. Okay, uh, I have actually squirted some RF through this, and I ran it for maybe 20 seconds and then stopped. And I felt the top of both these transistors. And this right one was really hot. You could barely touch it. This left one was very, very mild. And you could stand there all day holding it. So I suspect this is the problem. I think this is the one that's gone. Um, the next step is I'm just going to make sure at the, the track and the base here, it is getting current um, equally. Uh, and if it is, then essentially it's just the transistor, I believe. Um, <clears throat> I've, I'm not an expert at this, so I'll just uh, mention, but I can read circuit diagrams. I do understand how components work, uh, and I have fixed my own amp, which is very similar to this. It's a BNOS 160 watt amp, similar setup, except um, I think that one was just a single transistor. <laughs> so I, I do have a bit of experience uh, looking at these things, but I'm probably overly cautious uh, checking everything twice before I do anything, just to make sure I'm not causing more harm than good. So uh, next step is testing what's actually at the transistors um, and then obviously what's coming out of it and that's going to show us uh, the performance of the transistor. So um, and as I say I'm suspecting this one towards the edge is a goner. I think it was that one, was it that one? I'm pretty sure it was that one. This one here seems to be doing all the work and they generally do recommend replacing them as a pair. Because if this one's dead and this one's doing all the work, this one's probably on its last legs as well now. Um, the backstory to this, just to let you know, is that they'd purchased it. Somebody used it uh, and got full power out of it. Um, and then when it was returned to the owner, they were not getting full power out of it. So either it was on its last legs or there was perhaps a bit too much input gone into it or something like that. And that's, uh, that's uh, killed it off. Luckily, these transistors, I believe, are only about £12 each, so it's not an expensive job. Uh, it's just a bit fiddly to uh, remove and replace. <clears throat> so, I'll just give you a couple more closer looks at this. So you've got the base, um, you've got the emitters, which I believe are both the side ones, and then the collector at the centre at the back. If we look at the uh, <coughs> diagram on here, where are we? There we go. So as we can see here, pin one emitter, pin three emitter. So these long side taps are the emitters. Number two is the collector, and number four is the base. So looking at it that way round. In fact, I'm going to have to check see which way they're round, but I presume it's the same way as you see the writing there. So I believe the base is here. Um, in fact, that looks like the sort of balancing resistor there. <clears throat> so, right, so uh, I'll get that testing done and uh, I shall let you know what I find.